everyone, for today's video we will be reviewing the Red Iguana Practice Hand, very popular hand, a lot of people use this hand. So today we are going to review this hand and give you guys an honest review. So I'm going to be placing pictures on this video somewhere in this corner showing you guys the prices, uh, the description and all of that. So this is how the box arrived and it came into, um, of course, a you know, mailing envelope or whatever it was. I can remember. I think it was a box. I don't know. So this is how you will get your hands, guy. You have two options. You will have the, the full complete hand or four fingers. In my case, I decided to get the four fingers. Why? Well, let me tell you. So when I do my nails, on my pictures, of course, when I do my nails, you guys will see the, these four fingers fingers more right like when I do my nails I put my hands like this on the tutorial and then I paint the finger I do whatever I have to do but this finger you always see it back here and sometimes I have to go like this to include the finger so when it comes to a practice hands I decided to only get four finger instead of five there is no reason there's no purpose for this finger to be in a practice hand so that's why I got the four finger one and also because it's uh, cheaper than the full hand that they sell because it's cheaper than the full hand so I will go into details I will put more pictures here description so I can explain to you guys the different type of hands they sell how I received the box um, of course it came into inside another box so let's go ahead and open it up and it's a beautiful pinkish color like matte pinkish color and the one I got was the April Ryan one and once you open the box this is what it looks like it reminds me of let me show you guys it reminds me of the nail boxy uh, Marvel thing going on here um, even though it's the same company this is pretty much like a division of the Red Iwana the nail boxes subscription just different owners you know so this is how it looks it says thank you for choosing your Red Iwana City Compacted Hand we appreciate your support and can't wait to see your creations that's the website pretty much here you get a paper the paper tells you which one is the one that you purchase also it tells you everything of how to take care of your hand very very important here if you guys can see it says do not rip off nails do not bend fingers in an unnatural position blah 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 so with this hand, you cannot glue the tip into the hand. You cannot use base coat to hold the tip into this hand because you're just gonna ruin your probably $90, $100, whatever you pay for your hand, you're gonna ruin it. So don't use glue to put your tip on this hand. Don't use base coat, don't use anything. The only thing you can use is the sticky tapes. Let me show you. this right here so these right here are press on nails um, tapes and you guys have seen me use this tape before let me put my hand so you guys can see it you guys can use these th type of tapes with this hand because they peel off like easily and I will tell you why in a few minutes why I recommend this but don't use glue, don't use, don't use base coat because you will ruin your expensive hand, okay? So I'm going to leave this to the side and I will get back to you why you need to use that. So, let's get back to the box. So here explain uh, pretty much uh, how to take care of the hand, explain what things you can do, what things they don't recommend you to do, and all of that. Also, you can go on their website 
and on their website explain how to take care of the hand, how to fix it if it gets damaged and stuff like that. So that's all the instruction. If you buy the hand, please don't throw this away. You're gonna need it. Uh, second, it's a uh, thank you card for buying the hand. Also, it give you a coupon saying hello 05. I don't, I don't care to show you the coupon because this coupon is what they send everybody who buy the hand. So, and also they give it to people who buy in their store. So this coupon is will is used all over the year and everybody gets the coupon because it's only give you like 5% off so you guys can use it too it's not something that is a one time use here it tells you how to get in contact with them their social media their website and that's all it says on this paper now let's get to the main event so you have this beautiful paper that says the name of the brand once you open this paper here you will have the ring. It is a beautiful ring. Some hands will come with the bracelet and also with the ring. I only got the ring, let me put it on my finger. This is the ring that comes with the hand. Very, very shiny, very beautiful. So let's get into the hand. So the hand comes very well packed in this baggie. So let me take it out of the bag. And that's all you get. There's nothing else in here. Just a beautiful box. Okay. That you can also save for storage, of course. <laughs> so let's remove the hand out of the bag. And it's very soft. Okay. So this is my hand guy. What do you guys think? This is how it looks. It is pretty much like from here up. From here up. So the way they do this, they put, they put uh, April, whoever she is, they put her hands in a mold, in a silicone mold, like one of those that I use for acrylic, and they created a mold of her hand. So when somebody order a hand, they will drop the, the silicone into the mold, they will heat it up or whatever how they do and they create the hand. So it will take a few days for you to get your hands when you order. Um, I will say it took about probably two and a half weeks for me to get it so because these hands are not in stock what they do is they wait for you to order for them to make they last longer because they're not cheap and let's give you guys a close-up on this hand so as you guys can see, it's not a perfect hand. Um, you guys can see some defects on this area. Let me get you uh, something to point. Okay, so you may see some defects on this area here of the silicone. And if I move it like this, you also can see some uh, missing parts in this area here. And on this finger. You guys can see that. I contacted them because that's not normal. And they refunded me 10% uh, of my purchase because of that. And it looks like what she told me is that probably when they put it on the mold, that they cut the mold to create the hand, they cut too much on this part. And that's why it looks like that. So let me show you what I'm talking about. You guys can see here how it's missing some parts. especially this finger here that is cut I don't know if you guys can see there you go do you see how it's missing some parts in here let me give you a close-up okay there you go so do you see how rough it looks here on the edge and here is missing the full nail on like the tip of the nail you see how that looks so it's not supposed to look like this, but um, she told me that it was because maybe when they cut it, they cut too much, so that's why it's missing the tip of this nail here. And she told me that don't worry, it will be covered once she put a nail tip. But I was I was okay with it because they refunded me 10% uh, of my purchase, so that's fine. So that's the only thing I will say. 
So when it comes to this hand, this one is the one that you can bend around. Like you can bend the fingers down like this. If you're working on two nails, you can bend this one down and this is how it will bend very nice and you can turn it to the side like that and they will stay like that or you can put them together so this one I will put the name of this one in the bottom so you guys can know um, what I'm talking about and this one is good because you can bend around they also have a full side but I only order four fingers so how you hold this when you're doing nail tutorials two ways only you can hold it with your hands while you do the nail tutorial or you can buy a clip the clip will go attached to this part here so you attach the clip like this and then you have your hands like this so they also sell the clip on the website for $20 I was not about to buy that clip so I went on Amazon and I purchased the clip cheaper than that and what it's gonna do is gonna hold my hand here and then on the videos guys you will see it like this on the camera while I, while I work with the hand. Now why this hand is popular? Why people prefer this hand than the other one? I'm gonna tell you why. So this is my practice hand right here. I use this one all the time. I really like this one but I'm gonna tell you the difference between these two. So let me grab some of these tips from um, this brand here. Okay guys. So let me show you the difference between this one and this one. So with my cheap $3.99 $3 hand, in order for me to secure the tip, let me turn around and I'll show you the difference. Okay, so in order for me to secure the tip on this hand, I either use glue or some type of thing that I can hold the tip in the hand. Because this hand is only $3.99, what I do, I use base coat and I cure it in the lamp. And it will hold the tip really well. And this is how it looks. When I remove this tip, there's no damage to the hand because I use a base coat. But as you can see, there is some damage already. So a lot of people, when they use this hand, they have to soak this in acetone in order for the acrylic and whatever they put and how they hold the tip it can come out and they can use the nail the hand again to practice that's the only downside about these hands that you have to soak them in acetone in order to do a new set sometimes they cannot hold the acetone for so long because they are plastic and cheap uh, so these hands will not last you that long um, so that's why people buy this one because this one they won't last you that, that long like this one um, let's move this one to the side so this one was $3.99 $3.99 and like I said I use base coat to hold the tip I do have other hands the other hand that I have is this one you guys can see this is harder than this one or this one so this one is differently. This one I got it at Sally Beauty Supply. This one can cost you more than, I think it was $10 that cost me years ago, years, years. I don't even know if they sell them anymore. But with this one, you guys can see the damage. Let me zoom you in. This is the one that I will have to soak in acetone to remove whatever I do on the nail. So you may see some damage in the cuticle area and then the other one I have and I want to show you this one this one is an old one is about to go on the trash but you guys can see the damage in this one let me turn it around see how damaged is this one and I and I use it sometimes but I think she's on her last days honestly 
um, and I have another tip here so what I do to clean this one I will have to put it on acetone as well I don't know how it will do because 100% acetone could be really strong for this hand so I don't know I will give you guys posted but usually that's how people do poop people will put them on acetone and remove all the tips or whatever they do acrylic whatever they have and then I have this one which is the same thing uh, as this one here that I showed you previously so this one is the same thing as this one and on this one you guys can see better the damage you guys see all that that's damage same thing as this one damage so what I did on um, what I've been doing for years because I have these hands for more than 10 years and I keep using them so what I do is this I grab a fake tip put it on put it uh, to use it on my nails and then I use this where is it this here this is what's gonna fix your hands and also the red iwana hand this is what they recommend so what you do just put a, a little bit here then you put the fake tip on top and let it sit there for 24 hours and what it will do is that it will create this shiny part here that you guys see you guys see that shiny part so that's how I fix it but it still looks horrible but it gets fixed so I can do another set on this nail. So this is why the reason why the Red Iwana hand is popular. It's more popular than the other ones that I just showed you because the way that you put the tip on the hand. So all you have to do is insert the tip inside and that tip will go down. See? Just like that. And you just leave it there. You guys can see that and you just leave it there so that's why this hand comes handy because I haven't seen a hand that has that provides you with this thing that you can put it inside all the way down and it hold your hands now I have seen people using this hand and while they're working on the tip they keep doing this like pushing it down they keep like pushing it down like this and it is because sometimes it will come out so how you prevent that that's where this guy comes in place that's why the sticky tapes comes in place so all you have to do is put the sticky tape here and insert the, the the nail and it will stay in place sometimes you don't even need the tape you just put the hand there and that's it now I will highly recommend buying a clip because if you want to practice having the clip is better because it will hold it in place while here you do whatever you gotta do with the hand you know what I mean so this is the reason why the hand is popular because you can insert the nail tip all the way down versus the other ones that you cannot do that so that's the reason why I told you guys not to use glue, not to use base coat, don't use anything because this hand it is made to hold the tip inside. See? And you and you don't want to ruin this. This is real expensive. And that's it guys. So tell me what you guys think. Um have you guys tried this brand? Have you guys tried this uh, silicone hands Do you guys like the fact that you can put the tip all the way all the way down and it holds the tip let me know I will be reading your comments I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys on my next video bye